Okay, let's bring you some breaking news now on uh, the Kerala non-rape case where nuns who spoke out against Franco Mulakkal have been transferred. According to this uh, breaking information, now the nuns' uh, question is whether they have been punished for raising their voices. Let's go now uh, live to on the phone line to uh, the editor of the News Minute, uh, Dhania Rajendran, joining us on the broadcast. Thanks, Dhania, for speaking to us. Uh, if you can bring us up to speed with what uh, this letter actually states, because uh, this raises serious questions over whether they perhaps could have been transferred because they spoke out against uh, Franco Mulakka. We have access four letters written to four out of the five nuns who were part of the protest. Uh, so the four letters remind the nuns that they had basically been transferred to various communities, which is including one in Jharkhand, Bihar, Kerala, etc. So all these four nuns have been asked to go and join those communities. And the letter written by the uh, Superior General says that uh, you all have used the legal case as an alibi. Stop using that as an alibi. You have ignored your community. So please go back there. Uh, what the Superior General, of course, conveniently forgets is that all these nuns who were part of the Kuruvilangada convent in Kerala were moved to different convents when the survivor nun had actually raised the issue of rape with the church. So when all these women supported the rape survivor nun, they were slowly moved out to Bihar, Jharkhand and other places. They refused to go uh, and take charge in these places, but clearly the rape survivor nun needed their support. So we do this as a, uh, as a measure by the church to really break their collective strength and to isolate them. We spoke to Sister Josephine and Sister Anupama after these letters were sent out. They are categorical that they will not move to any of these uh, uh, communities in Jharkhand, Bihar, etc. because first uh, they are placing themselves in considerable danger as these are clearly controlled by the missionaries of Jesus' congregation. Second, they do not want to leave the rape survivor none alone. And third, there is a legal case going on in Kerala. Uh, the Kerala government has appointed a special public prosecutor and they will have to keep appearing for the case. So they do not want to be moving out of Kuruvilanad. Right, and, and, and Dhania, you know, all through this uh, entire protest that they've carried out, uh, they're showing their support for uh, the victim nun here. Uh, what has been very obvious is that there have been, uh, you know, there have been censures that have been tried to be passed against them uh, by the convent themselves to try and get them to withdraw their protest, isn't it? At every step, there has been pressure uh, put on these nuns. For example, from November 2017 to, I think, sometime in last year, this Bishop Franco himself has uh, filed at least three cases against all these nuns. He has made varied accusations, including that they threatened to kill them themselves, that they wanted to murder him. So he has filed a number of cases against these nuns. Uh, there, there has, of course, been uh, pressure on them to move out of the convent. There has been pressure on their families to keep quiet. And not only these four nuns, Father Agustin Vatoli and Sister Lucy, who are supporting these nuns, have also been isolated by the church. So, I mean, the church is just functioning as a body which, uh, which is beyond anybody's questioning. I mean, we all sit in outrage, we write about it, we report about it, but the church is just seeming to go around doing its business. Right, and but uh, you know, Dhania, let's let's look at it the other way. Has there been any, any response from the congregation uh, regarding this? Because uh, of course, this is being viewed as action against those who spoken out against uh, uh, the former bishop of Jalandhar, against Franco Mulakkal for uh, for what he did uh, allegedly did to that uh, to that nun. So, is there any re any response from the church so far? No, I, I mean, I have not sought a response from the church, but yes, uh, I'm sure the church will have the same thing to say that we had already transferred them a year ago. They have not gone to their places, which is why we are asking them to leave. But the counter question then to ask the church is, why did you transfer them in the first place? It is because you wanted to break their unity. So uh, the church has consistently been trying to isolate these people within the system and outside also. And uh, with this attempt, it is clear that the missionaries of uh, uh, Jesus is completely under Franco's control. They will do whatever possible to ensure that this case does not go on smoothly in the court of law. But Dhania, please stay with us because I've got uh, Sandhya Raju George. She is uh, the advocate uh, who's representing the organization supporting the nuns. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Sandhya Raju, for joining us on the phone line. Uh, first of all, I'd like to get your reaction uh, to this transfer that's now been pushed forward of uh, these nuns who were, came out in open support of the survivor. See, um, see it's, it's a very... Uh it's a manner of intimidation is what my view is. Uh, they have been trying to, <clears throat> they've been trying to silence the people uh, who are supporting the nun for a long time. And this is just one of the, the charge sheet is supposed to be 
filed any time soon and uh, this is a means of kind of suppressing the voice of the nuns who are supporting the system right and uh, what uh, what possible uh, repercussions do you see of this uh, transfer because they were known to be very staunch supporters of uh, the survivor they've stood by her all through uh, even though she's faced a lot of questions from within her own congregation a lot of opposition from within the church uh, what do you what repercussions do you see uh, that the victim perhaps could uh, uh, could face because of this uh, because of their transfer out most likely that if they don't obey the transfer they're likely to be shunted out of the convent of uh, uh, that is one of the uh, measures they've been trying to uh, like uh, father uh, agustin vartoli sister lucy and now this i mean it's been happening in, in a series and this is clearly a manner of uh, intimidation uh, most like they want to isolate the sister so that they can pressurize her the victim sister so that they can pressurize her and pressurize other witnesses to withdraw their statements that is most likely the aim is right uh, sandeep please stay with us because i've got fade souza our executive editor joining us in the newsroom fade over to you uh thank you virin uh sandeep raju is with us sandeep is the advocate who has been defending uh, the victim this entire time sandeep uh, thank you for joining us if you could explain to us right now the information you are picking up and i know that you've been in regular touch with these nuns what have they been told specifically and what is their reaction right now what is their plan going forward to this letter that they have received Uh, this is this particular uh, letter had come long back from the, when the last year itself in the press when they had uh, they they had gone on a fast to get uh, the arrest happen this had uh, this was issued to them that time itself this is just a reminder that they have not now uh, they have not uh, followed those orders so uh, this is uh, most likely uh what they have said is that what they their plan of action seems to be to send them a, a response to this sending them an explanation why they cannot go they um, do not intend to go at least immediately well um given the fact that there is a case on right now in court uh, sandhya raju do you believe that there is room for an appeal to ask the court to stay any sort of instructions that they receive to move out of that house Uh, we uh, yeah definitely a direction can be made and as per as per the new witness protection program they have to they need, they can definitely they are eligible to be, apply for that and get a um, get a direction that you know they should not be shifted from that place that is definitely possible and that is on the anvil so uh, they 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 would have to they will definitely take steps towards that and these five nuns are they all witnesses or key witnesses in this case yeah yeah all of them they're all key witnesses in this case and uh, yeah, they, they are the ones who are with her and uh, they've been there for protecting especially sister anupama and uh, uh, the the sister anupama is the one they want to break because if they break her the entire uh, the the, uh, the 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 link will fall so they want to break her right uh, 